Hello, and welcome to three guys talking about Macbeth. Right in the middle of a field. Yes. So, our first question today is ever... Is murder ever justifiable? Christopher, what do you think? I think that, uh, in certain cases, murder is justifiable. Well, I guess it would have to fall under some sort of, like, penalty. Just because if someone were to, like, take... Uh, someone's life through murder then I feel like it might be justifiable to end their life just like to even it out Um, yeah justice yeah justice like that like if someone were to like avenge another person by killing them because they killed someone they loved or something like that I feel like that would be justifiable yeah but that leads to the paradox you killed one of my guys I killed two you killed two of my guys I kill four and then there's endless killing and then there's no more people and everyone is sad you don't have any idea what to uh, do next jackson what do you think i don't know you don't know you don't what are we talking about again we're talking about if murder is justified oh yeah uh killing is great you should always do it when given the opportunity if you're not then like you're literally denying yourself like the main part of the human experience for the last like million years or so like we love killing people that's what we used to do all the time we just go around we just start stabbing people and it worked life was good <laughs> then we became civilized and killings happened less sad <laughs> okay Jackson um, point of view is a little bit uh, controversial but yeah uh, alright second question is Macbeth to blame for his own death yes I feel like it's mostly his fault because he killed a bunch of people and he was like, well, no one will kill me because that's how that works. And the witches said something like that uh, by my own understanding. So I guess I won't ever die and uh, no one will ever kill me. And so I think I'll just kill everyone. Exactly. Um, I think so too. I think Macbeth is to blame for his own death just because he, like, played with fate a little bit too much uh, you know he felt like after the witches told him that um, he was basically invulnerable uh, he sort of started acting pretty much invulnerable and just like living life like he would live forever uh, yeah. and it led him to his grave true he started acting like he was a god after the witches were like hey you won't be killed by a man That entire book, I thought he was going to get killed by, like, an arrow, and I was going to be like, ha, that's not a man. That's a piece of wood with a sharp end on it. (laughs) Yeah. Totally different. All right. Uh, Question three. Are Macbeth's violent impulses after the battle to preserve King Duncan's power a result of PTSD? No. He literally just wanted to kill people, and he did because he thought it would gain power. Yeah, he was trying to... He, I don't think he had PTSD. I feel like he was trying to preserve the power by, like, the only way he knew. Yeah. And he was just, like, talking to the witches, like, Hey, I wonder what I should do now. Because you guys said, like, I should, like, kill people. So I'm going to kill as many people as I need to to preserve my power. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, he, he was just basically, like, doing everything he could in his power to make sure that he wouldn't lose the, the crown. Um, to, at, at first, it was like Banco's descendants. Uh, and then it just like became random people, kind of. <laughs> yeah, then he was like, oh, let me kill Macduff's family so that I don't make him angry. Exactly, exactly. Well, um, those are all the questions I have. Do you guys have any more questions? Nope. Why do you think that he went after Banquo so early? Like, Banquo was completely trusting of him, and he could have just kept Banquo alive and had a bunch of peace and just not have produced an heir so that Banquo's sons become the king. But then he was like, you know what would be funny? I kill his family. I think Macbeth was just pretty scared that, like, suddenly, like, that if... Banquo stayed alive that um, his descendants would definitely like kill him later on in life and he would meet the same fate as Duncan just like I mean 
yeah, it was just kind of like Duncan, that, but with paranoia. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, living in paranoia his whole, his whole life. Yeah. I feel like all his actions he did were to, like, try and get a sense of comfort. But then every time he took an action to try and get comfort, like, it just made him more paranoid. Mm-hmm. Because he was like, oh, no, I killed everyone's family. Basically. I wonder if they're angry. And then at Impossible. the end, uh, the witches were like, hey, you're going to be invincible. And he's like, All time right. to speed run killing everyone. <laughs> exactly. Like, you said to be, be aware of my death. Like, how about I kill his family instead? Plus, I feel like the witches, like, sort of, like, really badly miscommunicated with him. They were and like, I think no they man. did that on purpose. Yeah. They, they were trying yeah, to deceive uh, him. Def- they were like, definitely. Like, uh, Hecate was anyway. like... That is all the time we got. We're leaving now. Uh, just bye. 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 (laughs) Alright, and we're back. A minor inconvenience, but, um, we worked through it. Anyways, um, I had one more question. Um, were Macbeth's actions controlled solely by fate? Did he have any choice in the matter? What do you think of him? I don't think that Macbeth's actions were controlled solely by fate because he has like he has the ability to choose on his own he can choose whether or not he's going to kill all these people he's he's his own person he's not going to just be like oh well it's fate i gotta kill everybody Uh uh-oh that's uh, a big a big issue i guess i have to kill everyone uh, he did have a choice in the matter, um, because if he didn't have a choice, then he'd just be like a robot that follows other people's orders. But in the play, he's very much a human, making his own decisions based off what he thinks uh, the witches want, what their interpretation, what his interpretation of what they said is. So. That's what I think. I definitely agree with everything you've said, Evan. Um, Macbeth had many options when it came to figuring out, or at least approaching his fate, just because he either had the option to um, set it aside, I guess, what, what the witches said, and just continue living his life how he was living it, or uh, take matters into his own hands, which, which was what he went with, and uh, completely destroy his life. Um, although he really wouldn't have known it. Well, kind of. Just because he knew he had to kill King Duncan, and he knew that he would eventually have to kill Banquo, just because his descendants posed a threat to his fate. Um, although if he had known what was going to happen, how it was going to affect him mentally, um, he probably would have just stuck with the path that he was going with just because he had everything he needed. He had, he had power, he had, uh, you know, his family and he had respect, um, which were all the things that he lost in the process of trying to become king, or at least when he was king. Um, And if he had done none of what he had done, none of those things would have gone away. He would have still had uh, Lady Macbeth, he would have still had the respect of the people, and he would have still had power. But it was really just his greed and ambition that took control of him uh it sort of controlled him for a a time um it made him feel as if he was invulnerable and that no one could touch him which was eventually the cause of his death